Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can prevent account record from being edited if the record is created seven days back. So all the records which are created seven days back, if you try to update them, then there will be a error message displayed on the UI. So this is kind of custom validation that I'm going to implement with the help of trigger. And later I will be implementing the test class so that we can perform the code coverage of the code. So jumping to developer console. So here you can see I have a account trigger already open. So this account trigger I used to demonstrate many of the use cases. So here I'm going to modify this uh, update part because whenever record will be updated, then only our code should run. So let's first implement the method here in this account trigger handler. So it will be public static void prevent update. So here we need to pass two parameters. So one will be list of account and another will be map of ID comma account old map, right? So whenever we update any account or any record, so there will be two entities available. One is new list and one is old map, right? So from here, we need to call the method and we will be passing those parameters. So if you're watching all the previous videos, so I think you remember what is the use of trigger.new and what is the use of trigger.old map. So new contains the new state of the record that is being updated and old map stores the old state of the record that is being updated. And here I'm writing prevent update that is name of the method. So whenever we will be updating, so in case of before update that method will be called and trigger.new and trigger.old map will be passed. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm iterating on list so for account ACC, then ACC list. Now we need to apply if condition. So the record which we are going to update. So we need to check its created date, right? So if created date is less than system dot today minus seven, right? So if created date is less than uh, today minus seven days. So it means that record is created before seven days. So here we can put ACC dot add error. And here I can write the message. So this is the message. So this message will be displayed if you are trying to update the records which are created seven days before. So this is kind of custom validation that will be displayed. So here you can see we are using update. Still, we are not able to use this because here we don't need to compare the old state and new state of that particular record. So what we can do, <coughs> we can just remove this part. And uh, from here also, we can remove this part. Right. So if old values are not required, so you can just remove that part from the trigger and the trigger handler. So this way the code is implemented. Now, if I go to the UI, so I'm going to test it, whether it is working or not. So here I'm going to add one field that is created date. So it is added. Now here you can see lots of records are available uh, whose record uh, created date is uh, uh, less than seven days. So if I open this record and try to update the record. So here you can see it is giving me error. You cannot update records created seven days back. Right. And if we have uh, any record that is 
that is created uh, within seven days. So I'm just sorting it. So there is no record which is created within seven days, right? So what I can do, I can just create a new record. Okay, so if I try to update this record, so it is within seven days. So if I try to update, update this record, so I will be able to update this record successfully. So you can see. So this way our trigger is working fine. Now, if you want to implement the code coverage for this uh, piece of uh, trigger handler method. So let's jump to trigger handler test class. And here we just need to create one record or bulk records, account records, and then we will be updating those records. So here I'm going to copy this method and I'm pasting it. So here we need to test prevent update. So method name is prevent update, update test. Then here I have created a list of account. Then here you can see a loop is iterating. Uh, this loop is iterating five times and it will be creating five account records. And those account records will be added to the list. Then to refresh the governor limits, we are using start dot start, test dot start test. And uh, uh, at the bottom, you can see test dot stop test is available. Then account list is inserted, right? then this variable exception thrown is available. So here uh, some custom validation will be thrown. So uh, some error message will be there. So we can uh, just put try and catch blocks. So now here I'm going to update account. So I am just going to implement a loop. So for account ACC colon ACC list. So I'm going to update phone value of this account of all the account records and after completion of loop i'm just writing update acc list right then we have this exception so here in this exception like this variable uh, we are setting as true then uh, we are trying to fetch the error message so here i'm going to store So I just copied this value and I'm going to place it in place of this custom label. Okay, so here uh, you can see I have this Boolean variable and I am just going to split it, it into two lines so that it will be readable. So here uh, exception will be available in this E variable. So those, through this E variable, we are getting the message and checking whether it contains this message or not. So if contains, you cannot update a, a records created seven days back. So it contains, so it will be returning true, otherwise false. If it returns true, it means this assert will pass, right? If it is returning uh, false, then uh, this assert will be failing, right? So, after this, we have another assert, so which uh, checks true with exception thrown. So if exception is thrown, then it will be passed. If it is not thrown, then it will be displaying this error message, which is available here, right? So this way, this test class is implemented. So right now, uh, these records will be created in the within seven days range. So uh, whenever we will be updating, so uh, this catch block won't be executed. So I'm just saving this code. And I'm trying to run the test class. So I just want to uh, run this prevent update test. So what I can do, go to test and new run, then account trigger handler. And here we can see we have lots of methods because I demonstrated lots of uh, methods uh, in other scenarios. So those are already implemented here. So we need to just run prevent update test. So I'm selecting it and I'm clicking on run. So only this method will be executed and its results will be available here. So it is failing. So let's see why it is failing. So here it is showing, uh, sorry, it is showing assertion fail, no exception was thrown, right? So if you, if you want, if uh, there is no exception, like your code is working fine, so you can just comment it. 
right? Because this is for testing purpose, whether exception is throwing or not. So here exception is not thrown. So that is why this assertion is passing, right? It is throwing an error message. So you can just comment because if exception is coming, custom validation is working, then it will be handled through this uh, catch block. So now if I run this test class, So here you can see it is passing, right? So this time all the methods I executed, so all are passing, including that method, uh, which were failing earlier. So now if I go here and try to check the code coverage, so here uh, you can see uh, it is working fine. And um, this particular line is not covered because uh, here we are not able to uh, create the record which is having created date for last seven days because in test class we are creating records in the uh, current uh, date so uh, today's date will be available here so it is uh, not possible to modify that created date so that it will be having uh, records with last seven days right so this way uh, i hope you understood how we can implement the custom validation so that we can prevent updation of the record. So if you want to apply any other condition, like if in place of this date, you want to apply any other field uh, that you can modify in the test class as well, right? So uh, uh, that is also possible. So there are different uh, conditions, different scenarios will be available. So this is just an example, like if you want to prevent update on particular record, uh, those are created uh, seven days before. So how you can do that? So this is it about the requirement. So uh, this way I demonstrated you how to prevent account record from being edited if the record is created seven days back. Thank you.